I'm still at my mom's house. I'm making breakfast. I got some French toast, some sausages. You got me one right there. And then I got the bacon in the oven. It's light on the oven light. Got the bacon in there. I'm about to, this is my water cup. I'm about to fill this up with some water and cut a piece of lemon and put it in there. This is my juice cup. And this is my beautiful niece, Nelly Poo. What are you doing, Nelly Poo? Looking at Barbie. And where we at? We're at Grandma's house. Yes. And let's see what that little boy doing, because he always doing something. Oh, You don't put corn rocks in your water when you wash your dishes? I don't know what you do. Now, you want to say pray for me?
My favorite place in Charleston was drive to period checkers, Ryan be hating on checkers. Why? He just said it like I be acting like it. This is the place that I got beat. Shirt this lady right here, she beat me <laughs> for stealing change for me and my brother to come here. We walk, oh, you can't see it right here, but behind here is a, um, right behind this thing right here, what used to be a, um, what was a football? I don't know, but it used to be a, um, a bilo. And I went there and put the change in the little change machine and me and my brother walked over here and that's the highway. You can't really see the highway, but that we ran across the street, I mean. <laughs> no, I have mercy. Oh, I got some stuff to show y'all. I just got back from Charleston. I wish I showed y'all how I packed my bag, but um, I already washed all my clothes. So I really I should have showed you guys how I packed, but Ryan's birthday is coming up and we're supposed to be going out of town. So um I can just show you how I pack. 
my bag. Um, then, but anyway, um, I got me another pair of Uggs because I love Uggs. I wear a size six in Uggs. And from the picture, you can already see what they're about to be. My favorite color is pink. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. But um, I love Uggs. I have a fetish for Uggs. I have a fetish for anything that makes my feet comfortable. I love Birkenstocks. I love um, I love Uggs, and I need a pair of. Um, I never can remember the name of the shoes when I'm talking about them. What are they called? I forgot. But there's a little nature, nature trail shoes. But I'm just having a hard time finding pink ones and it's early in the morning y'all it's like well it's not really early it's like seven o'clock right now so i am not fully awake i was outside um catching some fresh air before the before the sun comes up i do have to go to the dmv today to get my tags straight into um i already got my car insurance i paid my car insurance for six months because i cannot stand paying car insurance i think that it's a very unnecessary bill along with light bill and water bill I think every bill is unnecessary actually just let us live but anyway um i have to go to the dmv today i already made an appointment so hopefully this won't take all day but um so here are my my uggs i'm a little bit tired y'all i might go back to sleep i want to make some breakfast to go back to sleep but i don't want to over um I'm reading this little thing from the bottom. It says, real fur from lamb. Fur has been artificially dyed and treated from Australia, made in Vietnam. I didn't know this was made from lamb, not the lamb that was slain. Oh, God. But I ordered this from Nord Nordstrom because when I pay a lot of money for stuff, I don't like fake stuff. So if I'm going to pay for it, I want the real deal and I don't want nobody selling me no fake stuff. So I bought this off of Nordstrom. And I tried them on yesterday. They came in the day before yesterday. I was still in Charleston with my mom at my mom's house. But, um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about these, though, because they made from lamb. I don't know. I always wanted a pair of these, but you killed the lamb of God for these. I don't know how I feel about these. But on the website, um, these are slippers, like slippers for you to wear in your house. But, obviously, a lot of people wear them out. Um, it's too hot right now to be wearing these. I wanted these so bad, but I doubt that I just paid $100 for some house slippers. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to wear them, but I do love them. They're so cute. And they come with all, you know, little ugly, uh, how you take care of them and all that good stuff. And these were $100. They're always $100, I'm pretty sure, no matter where you get them from. But I'm about to put them up here. Put the rest of my shoes. Or actually, I still ain't wear those these. And they are very comfortable. I don't know. I might end up getting on somebody because I know how I wear these. I don't know why I bought those. Other than the fact that they were cute. Dang. So, I went to Ross, but I already gave. Look at the braid they gave was in Charleston. I never got a, a brown paper bag before. But, um, I bought my son another onesie. Another sleeper onesie, but I gave it to his dad. So, his dad has it. But anyway, in Ross, I only spent... We went to Ross because we were... We had an appointment at DMV down in Charleston, me and my mom. And, um... We had, like, an hour to kill before it was time for our appointment. And it was a Ross right next... Uh, we were in a shopping center. Shopping class. I never seen DMV in a shopping class, but... We were in a shopping class, so we decided to go to Ross... Uh, my mom loves buying baby stuff as well but his little um it was a white uh onesie and it was thin and it was uh had like blue had animals all over like blue and gray animals and it was 4.99 and 
And I actually went in too because I didn't I didn't plan on staying with my mom for another I did not plan on staying her for uh extra day, but I did because we had to, you know, do D and B stuff or whatever. So I had to get me a dress to wear, so I went in there. And y'all know I can't never buy nothing for myself without buying my baby something. But I bought this dress. It's just a long, simple dress. This was nine ninety nine cream tube top dress long and it has a split in the back this is the back of it and if you don't know i love splits i love anything with a split and i'm gonna show you the dress that i had from amazon i already wore it i wore it when i was down there um and i always do when i pack my when i pack my when i do my pack with me video you will see that i always bring an extra outfit but since it's so hot i take showers three times a day and um i pack two outfits for every day um, but I still need, and I still need more because I paid for extra day. So I got that dress that was ten nine nine, and then me, it was so funny. Me and my mom both picked up this dress. It was so funny, but um, this is a size small, and it was ten ninety nine. I didn't even know this was a small. I don't even know if I could fix it. It looks big though, but when I've been putting on my clothes, I feel like okay, this may have looked big, but. It was, it's gray. You can't tell on the camera, but it's gray. And this little thing down here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit this, so I'm going to keep um, the tags on it and keep the receipt in there because that might have to go back. I didn't know that was small. I thought it was the, um, a large. Oh, let me show you the pink dress. And let me get off here because I'm just running this video too long. I just washed it so I had it hanging over the uh hanging over the banister. I don't put my dresses in the dry. I always let my dresses hang dry. But I got this off of Amazon. This was twenty one dollars. And it's two top as well and it has a split right there. This is really cute. It's not see through if you wear black um underwear and I always wear black underwear so I didn't have a problem with it. But if you can see it does Look see through, but you won't be able to see your underwear or anything with these on because if you wear black. But yes, I'm tired, y'all. So 